Toro is a bullfighting game from Reco Technology, quote, the first bullfighting simulator for the last generation consoles, and by that I think they mean the current gen consoles. Actually, it appears to be the only bullfighting game to ever hit consoles at all, though there was a Sega arcade game in 1984 called Bullfight, and a few bullfighting games for iOS, such as Bullfighting Hero, but the point is, if you've been looking for a bullfighting game, Toro is pretty much the only option you've got. The game starts with a customization screen to create your bullfighter. You can name him, pick a city, etc., but if you, quote, change view, the head and suit options appear. The options are limited, but it's better than nothing. After that, two training levels show the basics of the game, which is basically the game. Each bull fight is divided into a few stages. In the first stage, the bull runs around while the bullfighter uses the cape to do moves. Each move is a two-button combination that must be timed correctly in relation to the distance between the bull and the bullfighter. If you do well enough with combos, the bull's rage meter rises, which leads to rage mode, a series of button prompts. Next is the flag stage, a brief quick time event that leads to stabbing the bull in the rump with the flags. After that is death stage, in which the bullfighter uses a red cape and a different set of moves, but plays exactly the same as the first stage. Finally, another quick time event leads to killing the bull. That's a whole lot of time button presses. If you fail to time any of the moves in any stage, you will lose your current combo and be gored by the bull, but you'll get right back up. To progress through the game, you are tasked with scoring well and pulling off challenges to increase your fame. Some challenges are fairly simple, but the ones requiring not getting gored can be pretty tough. With enough fame, you can unlock new venues and levels, but really the game is just a monotonous series of frustratingly timed button presses and super easy quick time events. The more I played, the better I got at some close range moves, which was just enough to help me fight my way to the end of the game. Unlocking the beast, some achievements, but most importantly, becoming the most famous bull fig thur in the world. Yes, bull fig. Thur. There are also two mini games, which may as well not have been included as they feel unfinished and don't add any value. Bull Runner Throw, Tap Tap Aim, and Obstacle Course, Aim Button Tap, Aim Button Tap. You'll earn two achievements and likely never come back unless you want to punish the Matador for his bullfighting ways. The graphics are not up to current standards, especially the lackluster, no personality main character bullfighter, but the developer did spend time on the details of the arena, costumes, and bulls. The sound design could use a lot of work feeling incomplete at times, but I do like the mariachi music. One major gameplay annoyance for me was getting kicked back to the career menu after each bullfight rather than going to the event selection screen. The unlockable gallery is a nice feature containing some interesting history and detail, which I'm guessing is accurate. And then there's the price tag. The developers must be insane if they think $20 is a good price. Yet with all the flaws and lack of variety, I would still actually recommend the game if it were only five or maybe 10 bucks, especially if you're looking for a bullfighting game or you like weird, unique, imperfect games, which I strangely do. I was provided a press copy, but before I received it, Toro intrigued me so much that I almost dropped 16 bucks on it. And I mean, I really wanted to play this. I respect what the developer tried to do and some of what they did, hell, they had the balls to make a bullfighting simulator. But Toro really needs more polish and a much lower price tag. I'm Chris and that's nearly a three minute, two minute review.